Hello, and welcome to Crazy Talk Tutorials, Key Editing and Custom Script. Using the Key Editor in Crazy Talk 5.0 allows users to create frames that control facial features for the character. The Key Editor is divided into three parts. First is the facial feature level, the second is the head rotation, and the third is the camera operation. So let's go ahead and get acquainted with the Key Editor now. Open Crazy Talk 5.0 and select the script tab from the top toolbar. Then click the timeline button. You need to activate the timeline first before launching the key editor. Click the edit key button to launch the key editor menu. Take a few seconds to familiarize yourself with the key editor. The first is the facial feature level, the second is the head rotation tools, and the third is the camera operation controls. Starting with the facial feature level, click on top level A on the key editor interface to raise and lower the eyebrow area. After the area is selected, click and drag inside the interface to move and edit the area on the model. Notice the change to the model in the viewport. Either click the area again to deselect or use the clear button. The reset button will return the face to the default status. Click on the next area B on the key editor interface to raise or depress both eyebrows. After the area is selected again click and drag and you will notice both eyebrows move together. Or you can choose the single side control and move the left or right eyebrow individually. Notice the change to the model in the viewport. Click and drag on the next area C to close both eyes at the same time or open both eyes at the same time. Then click and drag on the next area D which is a single side control area to open or close one eye individually. Notice the change to the model in the viewport. Click and drag on the next area E to move both eyeballs at the same time. Or select one to move each eyeball separately. Then click and drag area F to raise or depress the lower eyelids and cheekbones at the same time or individually. Again, notice the change to the model in the viewport. Click and drag on the next area G to wrinkle the nose. Then click and drag the single side controllers to lift the nose or upper lip together or individually. Click and drag on area H to move the right and left cheek separately up or down to create a crooked grin or crooked frown. Then click and drag area I to move both the cheeks up and down at the same time for a completely happy or sad look. Notice the change to the model in the viewport. Now click and drag on area J to affect the lips. This area can be edited in different ways. It can be moved both horizontally and vertically to purse, pout, stretch, or retract the lip area. Click and drag area K to open or close or move the jaw left to right. Now that you're familiar with the facial feature level, you can combine areas to create emotions. Certain areas will give you certain emotion very easily when used together. To create a happy expression, select the areas F, H, and K.
to create a happy expression. Select clear to retain the placement after editing each section. To create a surprised expression, select areas B, G, and K as well. to create a surprised expression. To create a sad expression, select areas A, E, and I to create the sad look. Once again, click clear after editing each section. Now, move on to the next section in the key editor, the head rotation section. Click and drag inside the interface on both rotate tools. Notice the head will move forward, back, left, right, and up and down. Use the mild intent slider to affect the range of the movement. Move on to the next section of the key editor, the camera position section click and drag inside the interface using all three of the camera tools to move, scale or zoom, or rotate the camera. After editing a facial feature that you're happy with, select set key to generate a keyframe onto the timeline. Then click clear before editing the next feature. Check on Auto Key to activate the ability to place a key every time you make an edit on the key editor. This is a fast way to create a custom script. Move forward in the timeline and then edit the features to create different looks for your model. For every edit that you make, a new keyframe will be placed on the timeline. Then play the timeline to review and see it move through each keyframe. Notice the difference in the viewport. The key editor in Crazy Talk is a deep and powerful addition to the script mode. It offers almost endless facial combinations along with giving users the ability for the first time to manipulate the camera placement in Crazy Talk. The more time you spend becoming acquainted with the key editor, the higher the emotive quality of your Crazy Talk feature will be. If you have any further questions, please feel free to visit www.reallusion.com or contact technical support.